this is West Virginia Tim. First, let's try to figure out how what we've got to do to open this gadget cache. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what you've got to do to make it. This cache has been out for nearly a year. I want you to take a look at it because it shows you the value of a, of a great primer and a good paint job. This cache looks almost brand new and it's been out for nearly a year. When you walk up to this cache, there's a, there's a drawer. So if I open the drawer, there's a 9 volt battery in the drawer. And the cache page does tells me, tells me that it's going to allow me to borrow something. And then I'm going to need to find four green lights that coincide with the numbers that I'm going to need to open the lock. And there's a lock underneath, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second. So I'm going to use this battery to try to get four green lights, and it seems pretty simple. But as in all West Virginia Tim caches, there's a little twist to it, and that's what makes a great gadget cache. The only thing underneath this uh, gadget cache is the lock. And I really like placing the lock underneath because it prevents from drawing attention to the geocache. Remember every, every battery is polar. So this is the plus side, over there is the negative side. And we know that this is the only place on the cache that we can place the battery. And these are placed so that they're exactly uh, the same uh, width as a nine volt battery. So let me place these. I'm gonna go here, down, 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 down. I'm gonna go five times straight down. And let's watch what happens over on the other side. So let's just take this nine volt battery and go straight down those sets of uh, screws. So there's the first one. Remember, we're looking for green. There's the next one. There is the next one. There's the next one. Hmm, you probably don't see anything on that one. So one of the things the cashier might think is, I bet you that's broke. Um, and that might make them scratch their head for a little bit. The next one, there we go. So now we have went straight down those five, those five screws. Now the battery, of course, we know is polar and so is the LED light. So I'm gonna turn this around and let's go back down. Let's go down this side. There's one, there's the next one. I don't know if you're seeing anything there, but there's the next one. There's the next one. And there is the last one. So now I've went down all five screws both ways. No green lights. So we haven't solved this yet. That's what makes this a great cache. It looks real simple at first. And oh, this is going to be easy. Here's the screws. We just got to find four green lights. But they go both ways and there isn't any green lights. That's the twist of this cache. Now they got to put on their thinking caps. So what can we do to find four green lights? There's a couple things we do. First, we look all over the geocache, both sides, front, back, and bottom, and make sure there's no hidden screw. Because there, you could hide two screws someplace that's out of the way. I even thought about putting them underneath and inside the wood drill holes and make them really kind of hard to see. But that's not our solution here. The other thing is you can try going up and down. But I placed the screws far enough apart that going just straight up and down, that doesn't work either. But the solution for this cache, and you're going to be able to see it much better on the second half of this cache. The solution is not going uh, straight across or even up and down, but going diagonal. And there's only one screw, two screws, that if you go diagonal, it will still fit. Most of them are too far apart, it won't. But if I go diagonal between number two and number three, I'm going to see this right here. So hopefully you are seeing green lights. I can't tell from your side. But if you go diagonal, so it's a cache with a twist. Now stick around and let me show you how to build this one. It, it looks really complicated at first because there's a lot of wires, but it's not that hard to build. So stick around and help me raise the geocaching bar one geocache at a time by making some great caches to put out in your community. Hey, thanks for watching. On the internet, I purchased uh, 40 LED lights. They're eight different colors. 
I took one collar, I combined the black wires together, stripped back a little bit of the wire, twisted it together, then I used a connector that I bought at my local uh, Lowe's for small wire, connected it together. I added an extension wire because I can't reach across the cache from one side to the other with this length of wire, so I did add this extension. This extension is the smallest wire I could buy at my local Lowe's. It's called bell wire because it rings. It's for doorbells. Um, it's a 20 gauge wire. So I place it at the other end of my connector. I would just squeeze it together, make sure I get a good grab. And then, of course, after every connection, I would test it. Now it's polar, so if I switch sides and touch those on the battery, nothing happens. That way, when I have two nuts, I can attach it one way and it won't work. Flip the battery over and attach it the other way and, you get, and it will come on. So what I'll do is attach one set of wires to one side, slip the wires, flip it to the other side. So when they touch the battery on one side, it'll be one collar. And then when they touch it the other way, it will be the other collar. Okay, I have 40 lights. So I got a square and I made 40 holes. Uh, on the inside, I used a little larger bit and made my hole a little bit bigger so that when I put my light in there, it sets right in there. I'll take epoxy glue and I'll put a drop of epoxy glue on each one of these as I set my lights in. On the other side, um, I made my holes a little smaller. So... Uh, you'll be able to see the lights, uh, but yet it gives them a place to kind of to nest. Okay, a couple things. We have 40 lights. So um, here's one, two, three, four, five, and uh, that's if uh, they go this direction. By flipping the battery over, they go back down again. That gives them 10 choices. 10 times 4 is 40. Okay, I'm going to paint it next. And the reason why is I don't want to put the lights in. And if I put the lights in now, um, then uh, it very well, paint could get in here and cover over my light. So um, the, one of the first things I'm going to do is put a good coat of primer on here and a good coat of paint uh, and get this done before I attach my lights. Okay, the solution will be between these two. I placed them as far as possible so that they'll still touch, but they'll look like to the cacher they won't. So logically, the cacher will go this way, then maybe think about it, flip it over, and go this way. What I'm hoping is they won't think about reaching across this way. When they reach across between this one and this one, then of course the green lights will come on, and green is going to be my solution. Now this is my trial. I'll go ahead and wire it in a minute, but um, they, on the ones where I will, uh, where I'll put my wire, I'll just put two nuts. Right now I have them all set up here with one. I've got them nice and tight. Uh, now all I gotta do is add the other wires. The only ones that really make, uh, that are important to me on the order from ascending to descending are the green ones, the ones that are going to be my solution. I don't want all the green ones on the same row because it could be confusing on which one to enter first. Do they start and go this way or do they go this way? So I'll put a green light in this row, a green light in this row, drop down another row, drop down another row. So it'll be from, from ascending to descending and I'll have a green light in each, you know, each one of four rows from ascending to descending. So that'll be the combination to the lock. Okay, now don't let all these wires scare you. As you can tell, I started with the green ones because that's my solution. So whatever solution you use, that has to be the first one you put in so that you know what your combination is and you get them in the right order. After that, you can place them anywhere. So here's one left that I have. All I did was just take any, any collar, stick them in any hole because it really doesn't make a difference. And so there they all are. After I put them in, I have to keep, uh, I don't want to lose track of them, so I just take a little teeny piece of tape and uh, I tape the two that came together together just real easily like that. The finished product. Here's our uh, five um, 
five pairs of screws. Here's our 40 lights. Now I know it looks complicated. It only took me maybe a half hour to wire it up. I tested each connection as I went. So let me flip it over and let's show you how it's gonna work. Okay, as cashers approach this, they're gonna take the nine volt battery. They're gonna see the five sets of two screws each. Uh, they'll start, you know, they'll start anywhere, but if they start at the top, there's white, there's red, there's blue, there's a mixed, and there's purple. Well, if they figure it out, they'll flip it over and they'll go down again, and it's an opposite set. So there's whites. We've never seen those before. There's yellows, there's a mixed set, and there's blues. Now they're looking for greens, so they've went both ways, and there's no green lights. Now the trick is they're going to have to go caddy corner on this long set right here between two and three. When they get when they go caddy corner from from one set to the other, uh, they're going to and that way doesn't work. It's polar. So if they go this way, there it is. I put a, a floor up a little bit high. All I did was smash my wires. The wires are very flexible, so smash the wires down. Put a floor. Attach my floor with two two screws. Uh, my lock will be hidden because my cover will be here that you'll see a box up here uh, to actually hold my cash. So when um, they open the lock and then I flip open this, uh, the log uh, comes out. And I like these real large ones because uh, they'll hold hundreds of names. The area here is where I actually have my little drawer that will hold my 9-volt battery. So I've roughed out a small drawer. Um, That'll be the back. It's bigger than the front. It'll set in here, and then um, I'll, I'll put a drawer front, and it'll come out 